Hi, my name is Jalen and I am the African American History Interpreter here at Historic Bretonsville and today we are making sauerkraut. Uh, for this recipe, you really only need two things, a cabbage and some salt. So first thing you want to do is peel the first few outer layers of your cabbage. And you want to save these for later. And if you see any imperfections, you can just cut them off. Um, and now at this point, you want to rinse off your cabbage so you can get ready to chop it. Cut out your core. So I'm just going to chop it there. And you're also going to use this later. Now, thinly slice. So now you will transfer your cabbage to a bowl. And I find it helpful with your, so you're gonna have about a tablespoon of salt and you want to every layer sprinkle it and add more. Break this up. Fun part, you're going to mash around your cabbage and you want to massage it for a couple of minutes and you'll notice a liquid coming out. That's just the water coming out of the cabbage and you want to make sure you keep that liquid in there. As you see, it sh shrunk quite a bit um, and some moisture is coming out. So we're going to let it sit for a little bit and then we're going to come back and massage it some more. This is optional, but I love garlic and everything, so I'm going to mash some garlic to put it in there. Um, from our cabbage, we have a lot of water coming out, so we're just going to squeeze. And then we're going to put it into our jar. I'm going to put some garlic in there. Okay, and then your extra liquid, you're just going to pour in there on top. And at this point, you can also taste your liquid and if you want to add any extra seasonings, such as mustard seed or more salt, maybe pepper, you can do that too. Um, just to cover the top, I'm going to get a leaf and push it down in there and you can also use this to press down. Um, as it sits in this crock longer, it'll bring up more liquid. Normally you could use a weight, but I'm actually gonna put the core on top um, just to help squish it down a little bit more as well. So that's what it's looking like. You can put a lid on top, help squish it down even more. So if you're doing this at home, you could actually transfer your kraut into a mason jar. If you put it in a mason jar, you want to make sure to burp the lid, meaning every day you're going to open a little bit to release some of the gases. So sauerkraut also pairs very well with a lot of different foods, but you can put it with potatoes and pork. And if you want to learn more about pork, please come visit us for everything but the oink every Saturday in January. Bye.